Let's welcome the new, even more enhanced, Phenom 300E from Embraer. Essentially, it's the same 300E as the one that rolled out in 2017. But now there's more avionics features, more speed and range, and more cabin improvements. Here we are at Embraer's headquarters at the Melbourne International Airport in Florida. Doing a walk around and checking out the cabin with test pilot Steve Glasscock. Get a load of the new Bossa Nova interior with its clever compartments, forward two-seat divan, and oh yes, the externally serviced vacuum flush aft lav. In the front office, the panel's been given faster, higher resolution G3000 display screens, new touchscreen controls, plus the standard engine controls on the center pedestal. System schematics can be displayed on the MFD, all the lights are on an overhead panel, and a new initialization procedure prompts you to enter each flight's initialization data on the touchscreens. For the flight, I'm paired with test pilot Steve Berst. Stall, stall. Phenoms have shaker pusher stall protection stall, systems, stall. so this is checked before stall, each flight. Stall. And the takeoff configuration is checked with the press of a button. Takeoff OK. Now the fun begins. Hold the brakes, bring up the power, release the brakes, and all 6,956 pounds of thrust are turned loose for takeoff. Our V1 and VR of 104 knots comes and goes, and we're on our way to flight level 330. After reaching Embraer's flight test airspace and set power at max cruise, then let the airspeed settle down. Sure enough, we hit a max cruise of 469 knots true airspeed, or Mach 0.78. That's five knots faster than earlier Phenom 300s, at our ISA plus seven conditions, that is. To set up for a return to Melbourne, we loaded the approach and by doing this, set up for a demonstration of two other new features for the 300E. Because now, the G3000 knows the length of the runway. From the GPS, the airplane's position is known. And from the AHARS and air data computers, its airspeed, angle of attack, and descent rate is known. Put all these variables together, and the 300E's stable approach and runway overrun awareness and alerting system, ROAS, has the information it needs. First, the stable approach warning. While flying down final, I deliberately slowed the airplane from its VREF of 111 knots. Once the airspeed drops three knots below the VREF, the system gives its warning. Unstable approach. It will also warn if descent rates exceed 1,000 feet per minute or if the airplane isn't fully configured to land. To show off the ROAS, I flew down the runway at 100 feet AGL and 130 knots, way above VREF, so that the system would trigger. It issues its warning when the system calculates that your speed and runway remaining are a setup for an overrun. This is a long runway, so the system thinks that I'm taking a long time to flare, giving the long flare alert. Keep flying and the ROAS broadcasts the overrun, go around warning. Long flare, long flare. Overrun, go around, overrun, go around. All these new features, plus the added speed and comfort, boost the new 300E's edge in the heavy end of the light jet marketplace. And I'll bet that other biz jets will take the 300E's lead and soon have ROAS systems of their own. Tom Horn, AOPA Live.